of the most beautiful and fragile places on earth. Today, Lake Tahoe was the site of an environmental summit that brought politicians from two states together to plan for the lake's future. KCRA 3's Mike Lurie shows us some of the biggest challenges now facing this lake. Lake Tahoe's beauty is a natural attraction for the DeGray family of Sacramento. They love coming here to spend time on the beach with their daughter. I like just to spend it on the water. The water's just so clean here. It always surprises me. I forget how clear it is until you get up here and really, really appreciate it. But water clarity at the lake has declined dramatically from 102 feet 40 years ago to just 64 feet in 1997 when the Lake Tahoe summit first began. But since that time, California and Nevada have worked together to protect this fragile environment. And slowly, those conditions are starting to improve with Lake Clarity now at 75 feet today. While Lake Tahoe's clarity is certainly improving, there are still many challenges ahead, and elected officials here today offered a wide variety of perspectives of what to tackle first. There is no greater threat to the environment and economy of the Tahoe Basin than a catastrophic forest fire. Congressman Tom McClintock blames recent forest fires in the Tahoe Basin on overly aggressive environmental regulations. For a generation, we've imposed increasingly restrictive obstacles to the proper thinning and harvesting and fuel reductions in our forests, and we're now suffering the result. But Lake Tahoe faces many different threats. U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein told us she's concerned about... Invasive species because they just seem to come. And you, you have the quagga. They just found a quagga on a boat. Well, that one quagga is capable of producing a million other quaggas. The leaders at this summit agree on one point. California and Nevada must collaborate even more to save the jewel that lies between. At Lake Tahoe, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. This was the 18th Lake Tahoe Summit. The first was back in 1997 when Bill Clinton was president.